Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is NMR active and NMR inactive nuclei. In this, we will learn the way of finding whether a particular nucleus is NMR active or not. Nuclear magnetic resonance activity of a nucleus depends upon nuclear spin quantum number. Nuclei with the nuclear spin quantum number i is equal to 0 or NMR inactive while those with i is not equal to 0 are NMR active. Now let's learn how to identify which nucleus has 0 i value and which has non-zero i value. An element can be represented like as where X is atomic symbol like H for hydrogen, HE for helium, C for carbon, N for nitrogen, etc. Z is atomic number and A is mass number. Nuclei with both even A and even Z have I is equal to 0 while nuclei with odd A or odd Z are both odd have I is not equal to 0. So we can say directly that NMR inactive nuclei have even A and even Z while NMR active nuclei have either A or Z or both odd. Now we will do some exercise. Suppose we have this set of nuclei in which we have to find NMR active and NMR inactive nuclei. Here only mass numbers are given so first put corresponding atomic numbers 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 15. If we take three isotopes of hydrogen, they all have odd atomic number. Since we have learned that for NMR activity out of Z and A, at least one should be odd. So we need not to see mass number. All the three isotopes of hydrogen will be NMR active. Carbon isotopes. Here atomic number is even so we have to look at mass numbers that will decide whether the isotope is NMR active or inactive. So carbon 12 with even Z and even A will be NMR inactive. Carbon 13 with odd A will be NMR active while carbon 14 with even Z and even A will be NMR inactive nitrogen isotopes. These two have odd value of Z so both will be NMR active. Oxygen isotope. Here value of Z is even so we need to look at value of A. So oxygen 16 with even Z and even A will be NMR inactive. Oxygen 17 with even Z and odd A will be NMR active and oxygen 18 with even Z and even A will be NMR inactive. Fluorine 19 with odd Z and odd A will be NMR active. Similarly, phosphorus 13 with odd Z and odd A will be NMR active. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video.